Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody's doing well. I just wanted to come on here kind of quickly um, to share uh, just a small little bit of information for us all. Um, this is like the second time, uh, just this morning, um, I just learned about another uh, family suicide, I suppose. Um, you know, a lot of... Um, this is the second one in about two to three weeks. I don't watch news, but if I catch something that says something, you know, and then, of course, I'm going to, you know, <clears throat> you know, listen to it or whatever to see what's going on. Uh, but this is the second time in probably two or three weeks or something like that. And I'm sure there have been, like I said, what I meant to say was I'm sure there's been more, but it's just that I do not watch news. It's by the happenstance that I see certain things and that's when I will comment on them or, or watch them I should say so I this is a second family suicide situation that I've seen you know in a few in a few weeks uh, span and of course without even going further when we hear that, we automatically know. Now, we don't know all the details, but most of the time, we automatically know that there were finances involved, um, you know, because people are in debt and things like that. People think the end of the world is coming. People don't know. You know, there's just many, many perceptions or thoughts that people have regarding situations especially the situation that we're in at this time regarding the pandemic and whatnot and they feel like okay let me check out and they take the whole family with them they check out with the whole family with them and it's like wow and this is why this is why it's absolutely important that we know who we are and whose we are and that we don't follow systems okay um we don't follow systems because people most people uh, and i'm t well let me speak about and and even some people who don't live in america but but uh, because people think that america or at least they used to think we, we were the greatest country in the world everybody wanted to be in america however america is good we do have you know america is a, a good place to be um but as far as America is concerned, America has their own morals and st or standards that and systems that people think, okay, I have to do a four to eight year degree. I, you know, I have to have a bachelor's. I have to have a master's. I must, you know, have a a a, a house with the picket fence. I must have two point five children. You know, I must have a dog. You know, I, I must, you know, I got to have a mortgage. You know, they think that this is the ultimate view of success. And that's not how God put this, these things, nor how he teaches us to live. Okay. So I want us to be aware of that and be mindful that you might be in this world. This is Jesus talking, but baby, you are not of this world world okay you are not of this world you live here but you are not of this world you have a home a heavenly home you are just here seated you're seated in heaven okay but you, you're just dwelling here because you have work to do we have work to do there's work God wants to work through us to us, for us, and again, that through us is to other individuals. Okay? Other individuals. So that's why it's absolutely important that you know which gift you are. Also, you see these? You know, I, I'm going to say, I, I'm, I'm using gift, of, but I'm going to say fruit. As well, I'm going to use could use those simul simultaneously since I have uh, various ones here. You you have to know if you're an acorn, uh, excuse me, uh, a butternut squash. Okay, you have to know if you're 
a acorn. And if you are an acorn, are you a speckled acorn uh, squash or are you a full orange squash, okay? You have to know these things. Are you partly orange, partly green, and then partly speckled, okay? Are you an apple? Are you a cucumber that's a big cucumber, or aged cucumber? You have to know who you are, your gifts, your, your fruit, your gifts, your propensities, who you are, what have you been called to do, and who have you been called to? You know, is it evangelism? It, you know, it, is it pastoring? Is it prophecy? Are you a missionary? Are, do you go place to place in a, an apostle? You know, you got to know these things so that you can be on the ball doing your work wherever the Lord has called you to. And sometimes some people think, oh, I, I got to be out, out, out. But that might not be what God said. Be out, out, out. You know, I mean, out in the community. Your out could be internet. I mean, depending on what your circumstances are. Are. Don't try to follow somebody else. Be who you are and know who you are. Spend some time alone with God. Right? Do a survey of yourself. Figure out who you are. What are my likes? What are my dislikes? Okay? What am I good at? What am I bad at? You know? Stuff like that. Do a survey with God. Say, Lord, show me who I am and what I'm supposed to be doing with and for you. Because that, those families didn't have to die. They could have watched your YouTube video. You could have met them at the grocery store, at the department store. And you could have struck up a conversation with those people, with their children. Because I think both of them, seemed like both of them had about, it was a family of five. And of course, three were children. I think this, it was the same situation that I saw some weeks back as well. You know, or it could have been more. But they, yeah, but there were children and parents. You know, I mean, just, I mean, that's just that situation. What about people who are drug addicted? You know, I mean, there are just so many scenarios and different, uh, uh, different groups of people that we are called to minister to, but we're busy talking about we're shy or we waiting on the Lord or, you know, just saying all kind of nonsense. You know what I mean? And not that we don't wait on the Lord. We do wait on the Lord. But whereas we are waiting, we are doing something to encourage somebody. Okay? If it's just nothing but a, a like I always say, the smallest thing you can do when you walk past somebody or, or why, as, you are, as you are approaching someone is to smile at them. And to greet them. Possibly, how is your day going? How are you doing? You know, oh, are these your children? They look, oh, you know. Uh, you know, if you're a dog lover, oh, look at, look at your little, uh, you know, whatever. There's a way to connect. We're all human, first of all. That's one thing we have in common. We are all human beings. So that, that's our first connection to an individual. Then we move forward into personal things. Our, we're both, if we're both female, we're both doctors, we're both parents, we're both grandparents, we're dog owners, we're homeowners, we're neighbors, whatever. The thing is that connects us, you must go there. God will give you what you need. You just walk in the spirit, but you have to start somewhere. Okay? You know, people can't just keep dying on our watches. You know, or are you on your watch? Are you on your watch? Are you on your watch, brethren? Or are you faking it and shaking it, worried about what you're wearing and worried about preaching, worried about money and all of this kind of nonsense, this religious system and this religious nonsense. Is this what we're on still? 
especially during this pandemic? Have you not woken up? Have you not been awakened? Are you still spiritually, so spiritually dead and concerned about yourself and uh, all of these different things? Or are you concerned about others as well? You got to figure these things out and stop giving credence and, and, and audience to people who are out here doing the wrong thing, popping up on Facebook, popping up on Instagram, popping up here, popping up there, talking about we, doing a teaching, join us for church, uh, online service, all that nonsense. There's nothing. It's not giving you anything. It's not encouraging you. It's not strengthening you. It's not doing anything for you. It's just garbage. It's nothing about Jesus. There's nothing about G what Jesus taught. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's just a way to to waste your time, your money, your talent, your resources, your efforts, and your energy. The Bible says, John uh, 10, that the devil comes, the, excuse me, the, the, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Anything that he can kill, steal, and or destroy. And sometimes that kill, you might think, oh, that's death. It could be a death of something, but it does not have to be a physical human death. Okay? You got to go deeper. And that's another thing. I was going to do like a little exhortation, a little teaching, excuse me, on how to read the Bible or just little tips or something like that. I probably did one like that before, but something updated because a lot of times people take words, uh, take it from a Webster's dictionary. Don't take a, a word, a biblical word, a word from the Bible. Even if you, even if it's from the Bible, take, go to your concordance, go deeper, go to your, your commentaries, go to your various books and you can Google these things and I'm sure they're all online now anyway and find out what that root word, what that word really means. Okay, Give, take it to a deeper level and find out what it really, really means. That way you'll have a better understanding and know how to really move forward or move on that word that God has given to you regarding that or whatever. That's how you do that, okay? But, beloved, know the gift that you are. Know the fruit that you are. Which one are you? Okay? Which one are you? You need to know that, beloved. You need to know who you are so that you can get busy. Because in the system... <coughs> The church system, everybody's a pastor. You know, just recently, people want to be, uh, 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 what do you call them, prophets, chief prophets, and all these nonsense, which is still stupid, because they still don't do the real work of what a, a prophet is. I mean, prophecy and or, and or a prophet, you know, they make it to become something that it's not. Okay, you better follow Jesus. These people will lead a person to hell fire. And first of all, an enemy of God and then uh, to hell fire. Okay, but you, 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 you need to, everybody's, everybody's a pastor in a church. Everybody wants to be pastor, pastor, pastor. You're not, everybody's not a pastor. Everybody's not going to be a pastor. And a lot of them, they def, they are definitely not pastors. They have no most. They don't have love like a pastor. They don't corral the people and help the people like a pastor should. No, they're not pastors. The the ones that call themselves apostles, they're not apostles. Those ones that call themselves bishops. You are not a bishop. The ones that call themselves evangelists and don't do any evangelizing. Come on. Uh, 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 hello, you you know. And then, oh, Lord, I don't want to go any further. But I just want you to be encouraged. Um, because we have to meet people where they are. And we have to minister to people some way, somehow. Whether it's in word or deed, you know. Now, some people think, oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You 
do not have to even use the word Jesus in the in the beginning of your. I mean, you just got to be led by the Spirit. Every situation is going to just be different. But but a lot of people think, uh, especially church people, oh, they got to say the name of Jesus, 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 Jesus. No, you do not. Jesus' Spirit is in you. He's the breath of life. Okay, as long as you are breathing. And his his life out to individuals, helping somebody, talking to somebody, that's Jesus talking to somebody. That's how they're impacted. People are too religious. We're too religious. We're the we're the country is too religious and litigious. <laughs> litigation this, litigation that. But yeah, that's what I want to come on and say, beloved. I pray that you will be encouraged. I hope I've said enough to, you know, just move you forward in the wake, will, and the way of God. Go and get alone with God. Turn off your television. Turn off your radio because you feel like, oh, because I'm not in church. I got to keep, I got to listen to this. I got to be listening to this. I got to be, you need to listen to God, okay? You don't have to listen to people all day. Those people in your ear, you know, sometimes we catch things from different people and I'm not, you know, but there, you know, it's not everybody out there that you don't need, you need to be listening to. And I think I did a video, I think I didn't upload it yet, but, uh, cause this one girl was saying she was listening to somebody, she, how she, and she's always listening to somebody or whatever, but she listened to somebody, was listening to somebody while she was working out or whatever and she worked there she called herself a christian she just as naked as a jaybird i'm like well what are you learning from this person for real then then i come to find out i saw who she was listening to and i'm like this person is dead and gone and died very tragically at that and i'm not even sure about that person's salvation but it's not up to me to be sure about it but whatever the person had to say I just, i've never been interested in that person I've never been interested in that person. I've and then they're watching it one of their single programs. What in the world are you watching this person say? Anyway, people just got to we got to just we got to get our life together and get out of this religion because that's what's messing us up. Following religious systems and people who are religious and traditions and all of this stuff. We got to just stop it. Okay, so I love you very much, and I pray again that you something that was said, you heard it, and something that you can heed and put to uh, use right now. One, go and spend time with the Lord. Turn off everything for now. You don't have to listen to anything. That's where confusion comes in. You're listening to this person. You listen to that person. You think you got to be listening to some all day to uplift your spirit. If your spirit is not uplifted, something is wrong with you. God is already inside of you. You know, not so, not that not that sometimes we might you know get discouraged by something or something happened or something you know you know, but those things are very fleeting and temporary. You should not just be down. You should not just need something uh, always in your ear to to lift you up. You know, you got to be careful with a lot of things. But anyway, I'm going to get off of here. I love you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye for now.